if you could be on the cover of only one magazine, Vogue or Time magazine, which would you choose and why? Wow, Vogue is a dream, but I would say Time. <laughs> time because it's like, it's a legacy that you're leaving when you're in the cover of Time. And I would really want to be remembered as this girl who has gone through all the struggles that she's been through and successfully going through all the struggles she's been through and uh, just being that influential person especially um, talking about her advocacy which for me it's mental health and yeah something that would be able to mark my legacy and that is being hopefully Miss Universe Philippines. Besides your friends, your boyfriend, I don't know if you have a boyfriend, <laughs> your friends and family, <laughs> what is the one thing that you cannot live without and why? One thing I cannot live without would probably, like literal thing, my laptop. Because my work is in here and it is something that I really want to take care of because my work is primarily writing stories for children in order to fundraise for the different programs that we have in World Vision. It is an international child-focused organization and I believe that this is very crucial in my advocacy work and so I can't live without my laptop. If you could choose a panel of judges that was composed of all women, all men, or all gay, which would you choose and why? Absolutely. I would absolutely love to have a panel of all gay just because the, they make our pageantry journey so much better. I think, I think it is so important to understand that inclusive, uh, inclusivity is as integral um, as having an all-male, all-female, uh, all excuse me, or an all-gay panel of judges, because um, recently one of my heroes, notorious um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, the Supreme Court Justice who passed away in the U.S., uh, she was very famous for ask, being asked um, and answering, how do you know when uh, equality, how, how do you know if there are enough women on the Supreme Court? And she said, when they're all women. Because we have had all men and no one said anything about it. <laughs> Oh so I, I would love to see an all-gay panel, and I would love to hear their critiques and, of course, learn together. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love that answer. I'm going to be on that panel if that happens. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Excited. Yeah. If there was one thing that you wanted to tell people about you that you haven't mentioned in any interviews, what would that be? If there's one thing that I would... Uh, shared to everyone is that I'm actually an introvert. I enjoy, yes, I enjoy my own space. I enjoy being alone. And I think it's, it's very difficult to be an introvert when you're joining a national pageant, right? But I myself enjoy my own company. I like, stay, I like just staying alone in, in the comforts of my own room, in the quiet and stillness and just breathing and uh, and meditating and everything that's just uh, focusing on myself and my health and my and how I feel because um, with what's happening right now I I wasn't able to do that we go here and there we we are so busy with everything that I just want that that solitude I want to find that inner peace again and I just want to be in the comforts of my own home where I don't have to wear makeup, where I don't have to wear fancy clothes, when I can wear the shirt that I've cut out and with, with holes and everything. It's just, I just want to, be, to go back to my, comfort, to my comfort zone. Who is your phenomenal Filipina role model? My phenomenal Filipina role model, aside from my mom, of course, is my ballet teacher. Her name is Erica Jacinto. Um, she's technically, you know, kind of close to the family. She's technically family in some way, but sh so I've known her ever since I was a young girl and I've always seen her as somebody, not just a great ballerina and a great dancer, but somebody who has always been so composed, somebody who knows what she's doing. And most of all, somebody who takes control of her life. 
And I've always looked up to that because I used to be such a shy little girl and I could never say no, I could never say yes, I could never voice out my opinions and what I wanted. So I would always look up to her and idolize her and ask her, how do you do it? And you know, now I can finally say that I know how to do it. So I'm very happy, but I still look up to her. She's one of my idols. That's amazing. My phenomenal Filipino role model would be my mom. My mom, because she is the kindest person I know, not being biased, but she have really that push to help everyone if she can. And I want to be like her. I just want to be like her, to love everyone, to see beauty, and being positive in every single thing. 